Hello, how are you all? I hope everybody is safe and sound in this lockdown. I hope your families are fine. And we are praying that this difficult times may get over soon and we may meet again. But all the same, we are also trying to get in touch with you with whatever possible. And uh, we have come on, we are starting with these online classes now. And today is my first lecture for class 12 in English. All of you know that we have prose, poetry, reader, that is short stories and drama. Today I will be starting the lecture with the first poem, Character of a Happy Life. As I will read the poem out to you, please pay attention. If those who are uh, having an Android phone and who have Google, just type uh, character of a happy life and you will get the text of the poem. So it will be much easier for you also. As I'm explaining the poem, you may read the poem afterwards. And uh, if you have any queries or any doubts, we will uh, let you know how to clarify those. As of now, we are going to read the poem and we are also going to, uh, I'm going to read it twice to you and then I'll explain to you paragraph wise. Uh, if you want, you can just jot down the explanation so that it becomes more easier for you. Okay, so we start with the first poem, The Character of a Happy Life which is written by Sir Henry Wotton. Sir Henry was an English poet who was born in Kent, England on 30th March 1568. He was not only a writer and a poet, but he was also a politician and a member of uh, House of Commons in England. In his lifetime, he wrote many poems and he got a lot of fame for it. One of them which I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, along with that, he had good uh, literary legends as friends like John Milton and John Donne. Uh, you have already read a poem about John Milton on his blindness. But talking of the same, he wrote lots of poems in his lifetime. And uh, we are going to explain one of them to you. Okay. The poem is The Character of a Happy Life by Sir Henry Wotton. How happy is he born and taught that serveth not another's will, whose armour is his honest thought and simple truth his utmost skill, whose passions not his masters are, whose soul is still prepared for death, untied unto the world with care of public fame and vulgar breath, whose envies none that chance doth raise, nor wise who never understood, how deepest wounds are given by praise, nor rules of state, but rules of good. Who hath his life from rumours freed, Whose conscience is his strong retreat, Whose state can neither flatterers feed, Nor ruin make oppressors great, Whose God doth late and early pray, More of his grace than gifts to lend, And entertains the harmless day with a religious book or a friend. This man is freed from servile bands of hope to rise or fear to fall. Lord of himself, though not of lands, and having nothing, yet hath all. I'll read it to you once again. As I would have been in class, you would have read it along with me, but never mind. I'll read it for you once more. How happy is he born or taught that serveth not another's will, 
whose armor is his honest thought and simple truth his utmost skill whose passion not his master's are whose soul is still prepared for death untied unto the world with care of public fame and vulgar breath who envies none that chance doth raise nor wise who never understood how deepest wounds are given with praise nor rules of state but rules of good who hath his life from rumors freed whose conscience is his strong retreat whose state can neither flatterers feed nor ruin make oppressors great who got that late and early prey more of his grace than gifts to lend and entertains the day with a religious book or a friend this man is freed from servile bands of hope to rise of fear to fall lord of himself though not of lands and having nothing yet hath all coming to the first four lines how happy is he born and taught that serveth not another's will whose armor is his honest thought and simple truth his utmost skill while talking about this poem the poet has told us certain characters which if we have it in our life we will be able to lead a successful life in the first four lines he talks about honesty he talks about uh, being happy and how can you be happy so he says that a man can be born and he can be taught certain things certain rules and uh, certain regulations but if he uses his own mind and he is not a slave to everything the second line says that serveth not another's will which means that he is not blindly following what others are asking him to follow he is using his own mind he is using his own intellect to decide what is right and what is wrong for him and then he comes to a certain conclusion that i should be following such things he is not blindly believing people he is using his own intellect to understand the difference between right and wrong and not only he is doing that the third line says whose armor is his honest thought armor is uh, something that you wear it uh, a shield that you wear while you are going for a fight so he is that the quality of honesty will be the shield which will protect him in the future it will be the shield that will help him to be successful people nowadays are little uh, hesitant to be truthful they are hesitant to be honest but if a person wants to stay happy in his life then he has to have this the skill of uh, of not bothering about uh, what people are saying he has his own principles he has his own uh, ways of dealing with life he knows what he wants from life and therefore again the first four lines explain us that a happy person is a person who is not taught what is right and wrong he is taught the ways of life but he himself decides what he should be following in his life should he be honest and he should be taking the longer route to success which is difficult at times or should he be uh, a person who who wants to be dishonest who wants uh, shortcuts in life and who can uh, reach his destination by 
following the wrong way it is for you because the shortcuts are always attractive always glamorous and always uh, short lived also and the truth the way the path towards success which is truthful is always difficult and uh, it's a long process but eventually the success that you get is forever it remains for you for a very very long time so two things the author tells us in the first paragraph one not to blindly follow others and second to be honest now we come to the second paragraph whose passions not his masters are whose soul is still prepared for death untied unto the world with care of public fame and vulgar breath again the problem with the generation now we are passionate passionate about different things in life but sometimes our passion takes us in the wrong direction if we have a goal in life if we have a aim in life and we are focused we know that we have to reach there we will work towards it but sometimes we have dreams and hopes and desires but we do not give it our best okay so the what the author is trying to say is that let not passion rule yourself let not these desires these hopes rule your uh, conscience you find a positive goal you find a positive aim which will help you reach that goal you find ways of reaching that goal in a in an honest manner not uh, by uh, trying to uh, impress people or trying to uh, make others fall down or trying to stamp on others and then go ahead in life those are not the right ways of fulfilling your passions it is good that everybody in the in his life or her life should have uh, goals should have aims in life but at the same time they should also know the right method to reach that goal okay so a happy person will always have a positive attitude towards life he will know that he has a certain goal in life he has a certain aim in life and he has and how he has to fulfill he will not let them overrule him because once you know there is a difference between uh, a desire and an obsession when you have a desire to do the things uh, you will do it in a certain manner maybe your desires might come true maybe they not may they may not come true depends on you and you may not feel that bad but once it becomes an obsession then it becomes your uh, you may uh, try any way like uh, how it is said no everything is fair in love and war so uh, any uh, unfair means also will look fair at that time but that's not what the author is trying to tell you the author is trying to say let not passions overrule your conscience okay and another thing that even your uh, yourself you are prepared for the worst thing and what can the worst thing be death that's the last thing that anybody wants any time in their life you are but a happy person is a person who is uh, aware that certain things can happen in his life he is also aware of uh, uh the the things that can happen with him and uh, his soul his body his mind is prepared to uh, uh face these difficult situations right like right now when this uh, wire this lockdown started then we were a little uh, 
we were happy ki oh we are getting long holidays but as the holidays continued then we are getting restless now we want to go to school we want to study we want to meet people and then we realize the worth of these things so a happy person is a person who is prepared for the worst and nothing can be as worse as death and the last the third and the fourth line in the second paragraph say untied unto the world with care means that the world will give you lots of things it has lots to offer it is very attractive it is very difficult it is very glamorous it has lots of good things in life it has got lots of not so good things in life also but how are we dealing with these things around us okay uh, it's obviously are we too materialistic are we too uh, dependent on this materialistic things when difficult times come in our life then we realize we can do without those things also so a happy person is a person who is not too attached with the materialistic attractions that the world has to offer he is not affected by fame or he is not affected by people who talk bad about him the last line in the second paragraph says of public fame and vulgar breath that you have to accept in life that people all people will never love you but all people will never hate you also so there will be people who may like you who may not like you who may like your ways who may not like your ways you can't expect everybody to love you always you can't ev- expect everything to be a bed of roses always if there are good times there will be bad times if there are happy times there will be difficult times so a happy person is a person who is prepared for this who deals everything with positivity who has the spirit who knows that we have to uh, deal everything with a, a strong mind and a strong mindset and a strong will power if a person deals everything with happiness with a positive attitude with satisfaction with contentment then he will be happy always and he will be always successful okay so in this uh, first lecture i have explained two paragraphs of the poem and what you have learned a quick recap of what i have taught you today that according to sir henry wotton the poet of the poem the character of a happy life one that you don't have to follow everybody blindly second that you have to be honest in everything that you do that will make you not only respected by the society but also loved by the society third that you have to be prepared for the worst situation in life because life will always not be good to you it will come with good points and bad points both fourth that you don't have to be too much attached to the uh, worldly pleasures and all the materialistic attractions that life offers you have to, because once they it is not going to stay forever nothing in this world is uh, permanent so when when you detach yourself from these things you feel sad and sometimes people are really hurt and they cannot handle these situations so a happy person and a strong person is a person who will be able to deal with these situations and uh, fourth fifth point that people will always not love you you might be very famous at one time people may love and respect you at one time and in the next moment this might not be there for you so you have to have a very positive outlook towards life where you can deal with these problems in a very positive manner right and once you follow these five steps then you will be a happy person you will be a successful person okay so these are the two poems in the next uh, module i will be explaining the other two paragraphs to you these were the first two paragraphs you can uh, see these this uh, video 
on a repeat mode so you will understand it much better again to remind you you can download this poem or you can take a snapshot from uh, google if you just write the name of the poem you'll get the text of the poem and you can go through it while i'm explaining if you write the notes it will be much easier for you to understand see you in the next uh, module bye